We also had just carried a $20,000 contingency allowance within the contract that was for, you know, discretionary things or, you know, unforeseen conditions that really were justified as a change order. But we can take that out of the contract. And if those things come up, whether discretionary or mandatory, then it'll just be a matter of finding that money if they're legitimate changes. The third item, ceiling restoration. So in your bathhouse, you've got this stained wood ceiling that I think probably looked very nice in its day. And it really doesn't look too bad today, but it does show the wear and tear of 40 years. And so we had carried a $10,000 allowance to bring somebody in who would clean it up and shine it up. But that can be carried as an ad alternate. So again, we're not necessarily saying that the sound system goes away or that even doing restorations of the ceiling goes away. If the bid packages come in such that this number comes in lower than the guaranteed maximum price, then we have the opportunity to exercise some of those ad alternates, depending on how much room there is between the total assembly of the bid packages versus what the guaranteed maximum price was. This one, personally, I'm hoping this is a no brainer. But Fritz or Carruthers was carrying in their budget tipping fees for disposal of construction demolition waste to the sum total of about $38,000. Oftentimes, in communities like yours, there's a disposal site that can be made available to them. And if that is indeed the case where they can take clean rubble demolition debris, then that's worth a $38,000 credit. I think that's to your credit, Andy. That's a given. As long as it's clean, no rebar, no other C&D material mixed in with it, just concrete or asphalt or block, then yes. That would work. Yep. All right. So that's the low hanging fruit. We also had a lighted sign in large letters on the front of the bathhouse. And if any of you, you know, I didn't think to bring up that image, but I could show that to you if you want to see it. But that was worth $7,000. And another thing for you to consider, again, it can be done as an ad alternate. The roof modifications. Let me bring up, to describe this one, let me bring up something else. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. You're going to watch me try and navigate this thing. I'm not very good at it, so bear with me. I don't want to make you seasick. So right now, ground surface is turned off. So please ignore the fact that you see the foundation all the way around this thing. But here is that. Here is that lighted sign that I was talking about in large letters across the front. We also, because we're adding this, this portion of the building is being added on. Right now, this is a gable roof. And as we looked at this structure, we made a determination. We thought it really improved the aesthetics of the building if this became a hip. Because it just, it was starting to look like a chicken house to me. It was just long and narrow. So we had proposed to do this as a hip roof. And also to spruce up the entrance, put a dormer on the front of the building. And if I can swing around to the back side. Again, I'm not trying to make you seasick. We'd also pulled, now this is just the original, this is the original roof slope across the back here. But we just pulled it down. 
And the reason we did that was, you know, right now this bathhouse has standalone wooden screens for the bathhouse exits. And also this window is south facing and just catches a lot of sun in the staff area. So the idea was is that we could pull that down, still have head clearance, but give shade on that portion of the building, sorry, from the hot summer sun. Now, I still think those are great ideas, and my apologies for not being very good with this wheel. I still think those are great ideas, but it does come with a price tag, and that price tag was about $40,000. Bear with me. So $40,760. Now, the revised roof modifications would be to keep the gable on the one end that isn't affected, and on the end where the building is being extended, they put a gable on that end as well, and they would replace the siding of the gable on both ends because the old masonite on the one end is looking pretty, it's looking, it's not doing great, and plus you're not going to be able to match it on the far end anyway. So I believe that in the price of this revised roof modifications that Carruthers has carried money to redo the siding on both gables. That's correct, with the hardy board. Right. Yeah, with hardy board type stuff. So that's what this modification is about. The next one, and this is getting into one of the bigger ones, is the revised deck and shade plan. You know what? For the sake of me jumping back and forth, we'll come back to this one, and then we'll also come back to this play structure. Let's just move through the rest of these because the rest of them are fairly straightforward. We know in some communities where a park or parks and rec department has the staff to do it, that sometimes seating is left out of the contract. And so in that $9,200 savings, what would be the condition you would leave the ground, Fritz? Finish graded. With topsoil spread, finish graded. So it would be ready to receive seed, mulch, and fertilizer. Yes. That's correct. So that's a consideration. Again, that could be an ad alternate. It doesn't necessarily have to just go away. Like I said, we'll come back to the smaller play structure in a minute. Overhead lighting can be done as an ad alternate. Rich, you want to explain what is included versus not in that alternate? Yeah. In the alternate, in the deductive alternate, the poles and the fixtures are in the alternate. The pole bases and the conduits are left in the base bid, so you can always add them easily later. Right. So that's the only thing that's left in the alternate. Okay. Now, let's talk about the shade plan. So you'll have rough in this, basically what you'll have. You'd have to set anchor bolts in your footings. I mean, you've got a lighting plan. It's been developed. But you'd have to set anchors in the footings to receive the post, and then you'd have to pull the wire. And we'll even, I mean, the conduit even comes up in the bathhouse where your lighting contactor would be located. Correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We were just trying to come up with as many as we could. We could leave the fiberglass off of the speed slide for now. You'd have all the infrastructure there. You'd have the same slide as originally approved by the public. It would just be that the speed slide would have to come in the future. But all the infrastructure would be there. All the piping, the tower, of course, will be there. So that's an option. And, you know, I should probably step back for one second and say something I should have said at the beginning. At the outset of this thing, and you'll see this when I show you the deck plan, 
what we tried to do is come up with alternates that would still satisfy, in my estimation, the intent of what you asked the public to vote on. Although the deck is slightly different, the pools are the same, other than considering maybe a slightly smaller play structure than what they saw in the images. It's a play structure nonetheless, but the water slides are there, all the dive, all the play elements in the, in the activity pool are all there. Both dive towers, the one meter and the three meter are all still there. We have stairs in the plunge pool. At the far end of the plunge pool, after, after someone comes off the slide, either slide, they stand up and they just step right out of the pool upstairs. Well, we could do a substitution for those stairs and we could just put a ladder on either side. So if you come off the speed slide, you turn to the right, climb up the ladder. If you come off the plunge slide, turn to the left, climb up the ladder and walk around. Then the last item, Carruthers was carrying the, from the slide manufacturer, was carrying the powder coating, I guess that's powder coating, whatever it is, the, the, the painted finish for the slide tower. They would offer a deduct of $9,700 if you just leave it galvanized because, I mean, I believe I'm correct in saying this, that the specification calls for galvan, painted on galvanized. Is that not correct, Fritz? That's correct. Yeah. So that's a list of things. Now, let, does anybody have any question? We're going to go a look more closely at the deck, the deck plan and the, and the, and the play structure here in a second, but does anybody have any question about any of the others? Yep, actually I do, Andy. So the, what you emailed out earlier with current design versus alternate design. Yes. Is, are we looking at the current design and then with these items potentially taken out or is this price, the 4939730, the alternate design? No, no. Right now, all I plug, so this is, this is the bait. If we, if you were to say, let's do a guaranteed maximum price for the drawings as they sit today with no changes, none of those. That would be the current design. That's the current design. The only thing that, what I heard was, is that the, using the city's constructive demolition disposal side is a no brainer. So I've just taken that third. Yes, that one. Yes. So then, because this has a lot different deck area, but I don't see deck reduction on your alternates then. It's right here. The 101380 through, I think is what he's getting ready to, that's what he was going to flip over and show us. Yes. Yes. That would be a reduction for that, for that revised deck plan. But before, before you flip over to that and describe that revised deck plan, Drew, I wanted to make sure you, you were tracked because I was not tracking with some of the other things that, that you all talked about. The light, the overhead lighting, the conversation about overhead lighting. I was not clear on that one either. Okay. No, right now in the, in the base price, what, what Andy's drawn is 10 light poles with, I think each one has four or five fixtures on each one, something like that. And in an effort to try and find some money to get the budget down, what we've done is say, we'll, we'll, we'll look at those as an alternate. If the money's there, actually, when the numbers come in, then we can obviously include it. But if we take the poles and the fixtures out, then that's what, that's what we're carrying as a budget for that right now. But that leaves it in the foundations for those lights and the conduit for those lights so that in the future, it would be very easy to add back. Are the uh, specifications then for the, the light, the fixture, the head, the pole, are they in the plans right now? I don't have plans with me. I'm at the pole. I'm sorry. Yes, they are. Okay. All right. 
Um, well, looking at that one, it might be something that uh, we do have a city electric department. It might be something that those guys could uh, uh, buy cheaper or in bulk or as part of another project. So, um, Or is there a way to change fixtures to cut some of that cost? So uh, there, there are code, there are code implications associated with with the lighting plan. They, an illumination uh, uh, model was done by my electrical engineer to demonstrate that the code is met. Um, so, is there a slightly uh, less expensive fixture to be had? Well, perhaps, but. The real savings comes in reducing the amount of lumens that you put uh, that you put on the facility, and that that becomes an issue of code. Andy, could you could you email with your your electrical engineer did with the uh, lighting schematic and the lumens on that to me, where we could take a look at that and see what. Uh, but possibly our city electric crew could purchase and install themselves. You bet. Yeah, it's and it's actually in the plan set. It's near the back with the electric okay. sheets. But there is a an illumination plan and a schedule that gives the wattage uh, and on the LED lights. So yes. Okay. So and could the, and height of poles and number of fixtures. Yes. Andy, could you go ahead and pull over to the column of uh, things that we're considering? strongly deducting. Could you go ahead and pull in the, the contingency allowance? And then could you pull in the seating and then also that overhead lighting? Okay. And where does that leave us now? That brings us, is that, that's re, uh, that's recalculating that bold number there, 4868, 420? Yes. Yes. And we're trying to get to 40, under 40, uh, under 4.7. Okay. So we have 168, 420 left to go. Okay. On the roof design, it, could we leave it gable and just do the front dormer? We, we could. Uh, that's probably going to take a little bit of ciphering on, on Carruthers' part to figure out what that, what that would become. I just I assume that would be somewhat cheaper than turning it into a full hip and still give it some character and some aesthetics. It would, yes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, off the top of my head, what would you say, Chris? Probably half of that, maybe. Yeah, that's a good guess. Big, yeah, that's 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 an estimation right now, but, yeah, that's sure. probably, probably about half of that. Okay. Just food for thought. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's any, any, anything you guys got like that, that, you know, you think, uh, sure, let us know. And we'll, we'll uh, try and come up with something there. The, um, the sound system. <clears throat> um, so that would include, obviously, we want, you know, music and things like that playing in the background all the time, but it would also be public address. Um, you know, we, we're, we plan on hosting swim meets there, so we'd be able to uh, call, you know, call the meets over that public address system. All those things, those kinds of things are included in that, in that state-of-the-art sound system. Correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. And are there any, is that another item that can, you know, portions of it can go away? Or we, we would be able to do, you know. Is there is there a, is there an acceptable answer somewhere between zero and thirty thousand dollars? Yeah. Well, I I would maybe defer to Carruthers. Have you done a more maybe just public announcement system that might not have particularly good music quality to it, or what? What, what do you think of that thirty thousand? You might be able to get away with. I, I think uh, probably, you know, if, you, if we went down a different road and, and tried to, tried to how do I want to say this, um, cities have done it qu quite a bit less expensive. Um, 
Yeah. They already did that. You remember what that was? They started back at about thirty to forty-five thousand, and I want to say it went to. We have. We could look it up, but but it was. I want to say maybe fifteen. But they had. But then they added like cameras and security in with that. So. Yeah, it, it could probably go in half. Go to half without a lot of. Uh, uh, loss of, of function, so to speak. You just need to give us the main specifics just, yeah. you want. Just, I mean, just kind of tell us what, you know, like exactly what you did. Tell us what you're looking for as far as what you wanted to do and and uh, let us come up with something I think would be the, the thing to do there. Okay. Uh, anybody else have questions? I, I know I've probably got a couple more, but Al or Wendy, you're, you're no, I'm just, I'm thinking, uh, you know, Randy mentioned the roof. Now, what about the addition? Will that make any difference on that? Or you, I'm sure you, who has a television on in the background? My dear, huh? It is really coming through and making it hard for us to hear folks. Uh, hang on, it might be me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Andy. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to miss the news. Was it me? I think it was. Your That microphone that you're speaking into, that thing picks up everything in your room. I'm sorry. You know, and the problem, problem is, is that because I'm listening through the headphones, I don't, I mean, that I didn't even realize that TV had been left on. My I'm apologies. I'm surprised your microphone was picking all that up. That normally wouldn't be the case. I would like to move to the deck revision now and just kind of see some of that different stuff before we dig any more into some of those other smaller yeah. amounts. Sure. All right. So I'm going to stop. Let's see, I might just do a new share, I guess. So I wanted you to see this so you can compare it side by side and I'll, uh, I will attempt to show you the, the main differences here. Um, first off, if you recall in the current design, the bathhouse sits, it sets at an elevation. This, uh, this first activity pool sets at the same elevation as the bathhouse. Now, in the existing facility, as you know, you wrap down four feet. And so that the rectangular pool that's out there is basically at the same elevation as the lap pool down here. But in, in the current design, it's at the same, the activity pool's at the same elevation and we moved the four foot step down with a ramp and stairs in several locations to midway across the entire facility. What we looked at, and we looked at it several different ways, um, as Fritz can attest to. We looked at stepping it all the way down four feet at the bathhouse, just as it is today. And we also looked at just doing two and three feet. And in the end, the best uh, economical uh, solution seemed to be to come down two feet. Now, Fritz, you want to just comment on a couple of the implications of why? Uh, well, no, let me back up. That, so that made a big difference in fill. The amount of fill, backfill rock that had to be brought into the site. But then secondly, we also uh, found opportunities, some opportunities where we could reduce the amount of deck in what we thought was a reasonable way without making the facility too uh, too cramped. The first obvious bit, the first big location obviously is, is uh, shown right there. Um, in the alternative uh, section, the fence comes straight across, as you can see here, taking away this rather large area that had sunshades under them. Now that was originally intended to be uh, a place where there could be uh, dining, although we still have this space out 
gear to the to the side of of the concession stand the concessions window is under this overhang well in discussing this at the last at the discussing this with Drew he made the comment that they really you guys would really like to keep your your shaded dining up there close to the concession so we took a the opportunity to put a shade up here adjacent to the concessions area and then take this chunk of deck out the other is so so that was a savings of total square footage of deck but the other thing that we were able to do is by moving the this the transition the transition and elevation this retaining wall from the middle of the facility to up against the bathhouse we were able to pull the pools together because once you take this wall out you've got this very large expanse of deck and it just doesn't make sense so what we did was we and this is a subtle change we just took the lap pool and we moved it up closer to this activity pool and so this is all on one level now this is all on one level you come down two feet here and I've got a ramp on this end a ramp on that end and two sets and sets of stairs so you come out of the ladies room you come down the stairs and men's room down the here and here's an entrance to get you to and from the concessions and this is not near as high as the one that's out there now it's only 24 inches but then both pools are at the same elevation the other thing we did to save some deck and this is a slight savings is to underneath the water slide where we don't want traffic anyway we don't really want the public milling about underneath the water slide just like the one you have today this does not have to be deck it can be it can be rock it can be decorative stone and in doing that we can get rid of some relatively expensive trench drain that we have to put in the deck by just sloping all of our deck to the rock and putting at relatively economical area drains in the rock and we can also save a bit more money by not putting an aluminum railing but putting in timber post and rope let me interject there a little bit we actually use concrete posts and rope so okay okay we would cast we would cast the posts out of concrete they last a lot better the rope would be something that would be replaced from time to time but yes so the cast concrete post would last a long time and is certainly more economical than the aluminum railing that was in the project originally or if it's in the current project so this pool functionally is the same it doesn't quite look the same because like I said we took these we took this lap area and we shoved it towards the activity pool to close up that gap this large gap that formed once we got rid of the wall and the transition stairs and and ramps between the two levels and in doing so we're able to actually move the mechanical building a little bit closer uh, to the whole facility the facility just became a little bit more compact uh, and this uh, and this and and the difference between the height of this building the the roof of this building did not change but because this pool is two two feet higher then in this plan this ramps not near as long uh, but you still have a two a two foot rise so this becomes somewhat elevated or you know whatever purpose it serves whether that be watching swim meets or uh, just a, a place where parties can congregate or what have you and we also went ahead and, and put one of our shade structures up here on this space knowing that this would very much be part of your deck deck space um, so Fritz can can one of you speak to uh, the quantity the change in quantities as far as just usable deck uh, how, how much in deck sure I'm 
give him my glasses. Uh, there was about uh, 4,400 square feet that came out of it, of that. Okay. And where did we start? In, in how much? Uh, yeah. About 19,500, if I remember right. Okay, so we so we took out about 20%, 20%, 25%. And I'll just throw this out there. When we were showing this to the public, asking for folks to vote, and we were telling them how much debt they they were going to have, we never contemplated or added in the um, what is it, 24 by 50 something in that range, that uh, roof on top of the mechanical building. Oh, yeah, That's it. Oh, yeah, 53 uh, by 24 or something. Like that. I think it is 53 by 24. So. Uh, so let me do some math for me. It's 1650, about 3,000, well, whatever that is. I'm not going to do the math in my head. 12, 1,272. 12, 1,272. 1,272 feet. 1,272. Okay, so, so consider that there's 4,000 square feet of deck removed from this plan to get to this plan but the numbers that folks always saw and never included 1,200 square feet up here for what it's worth. Okay. I, I have a question and uh, I apologize for making y'all do more, even more math than you've already had to do. <laughs> uh, but Andy, you mentioned, okay, so we're at the, the difference in deck in this design is just a little over 101,000. If I'm recall from the worksheet we were looking at a minute ago. Yes. And you said that uh, some portion of that was related to uh, cut fill expense that's eliminated by, uh, you know, bringing that the lap pool up to the same elevation and squeezing things back together. Uh, what portion of that 101 is related to that cut fill work versus elimination of that uh, the, the, the dining portion of deck area that was taken out? Uh. Is it, it, is it a 50-50 cost situation or is it a 40-60 cost situation? I could I could go with rough numbers on that. Corey, while Fritz is well, Fritz is doing some quick mental math. Uh, there's one. There's a third thing you need to put in to this equation, which is pretty pretty significant. We're looking at re retaining walls are not cheap, and two foot retaining walls are quite a bit less. Uh, cost than four foot retaining walls. Okay. So that's so even though there may be more fill in one option, that's there's things that that are cost a little bit more, things that cost a little bit less. All the railing is also a very expensive uh, the, item. Yeah. The the in general the deck reduction was about forty five thousand to 50,000 of that and the remaining items were like the retaining wall and the railings and so forth were the other part of that, other half, basically half and half. I would, I would almost like to see those two as separate line items on our worksheet for, for possible cost reductions. Is that, is that doable? Am I asking for too much there? No, no. I, well, I would well, love to see more space well, for, you know, for folks to lounge, uh, you know, if they're there with their kids and then, they just want to catch some rays. Well, okay, so, so I was going to say that, that uh, much of that savings is realized because we didn't have, we didn't have this separation, uh, this elevation separation here. I was able to pull this in. However, to address what you're asking for, I certainly see no reason why we couldn't look at an option that takes this back out, you know, uh, in, I mean, it could be, go back exactly to the shape it was, or it could, we could run this line straight away and we could put three umbrellas out here. Sure. Um, yeah, sure. So we kind of a smaller version. 
and one thing Andy and I talked about also was was maybe making uh, that area as originally just that area you're talking about right there as an ad alternate. You know, if if the pricing comes in better than we're 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 estimating right now, that then that would just be easy to add back in that way. Uh, just add, you know, with like it's shown. So. Yeah. But we can also change it a little bit, like the red section he's got in the drawing. He just did it too, um, for the you know. So whatever you guys want. Okay. Can we address that real quick, um, if everybody's got time, to discuss uh, how this goes? Right. We're looking at the at a, a, a max price, um, and <clears throat> this being you know the, the kind of contract that we're doing here. You're going to set that max price out there. And then um, what's going to happen after we finalize all these is we're going to send, send these plans out for bids and we're going to collect those and award contracts. And then, and then we're going to know more about our, about our true cost after bids are in and we've accepted all those, right? So these ad alternates that you're talking about is that's our decision. That's when we could get back together and make some more decisions later on down the road about those ad alternates after we've received bids. Uh, and awarded bids. My, yeah, my, that's, yeah, that's correct. You're like uh, when we go out and we get the pricing, uh, and, and like right now, your base job sitting at four point four million nine hundred seventy-eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, it's possible it's going to come in less than that, and if it does, <laughs> then well, you, then you can have those ad, those alternates to add back into it. You know, which will already be priced, and it'll happen. You know, whatever you guys decide. So that's, gotcha. yeah, that's kind of what we're talking about. Yeah. Perfect. That helps me a lot because that means we're not making final, you know, anything we, we pull out and, li and leave in there as an ad alternate, we're not really making the final decision to cut it tonight. We're just saying, let's see yeah. what happens after the bids come in. Yeah. You know, in today's world, it, 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 it as you know, it, it's, uh, things are a little different than they were yesterday. And, and so we're trying to, Obviously, we gotta we gotta get this thing under under budget and and and, and still have enough money to build it. So uh, that's what we're looking at, and and hopefully, hopefully, um, some of that could be added in before we even start construction. You know, with with under your budget, but but at the same time, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't if I told you to count on that because that might not be the case. Also, that makes you, sense. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Can you zoom in, Andy, and show us like the difference where the steps and the ladder that difference would be? Sure. I know that was a minimal cost, but well, this is probably a probably not the best view, but if you can picture, you see the, these are steps coming up. Okay. So you come off the slide, uh, and you stand up, and you just walk right out of the pool. What we would do as uh, what we would do as an alternate to that would be to have a ladder here and another ladder on this side. Or I actually we might just put them right at the ends. I guess they could be right at the ends. Mm -hmm. But that that's that's what that five thousand dollars is for. Okay. Thank you. What's the cost of the uh, in the uh, alternate design? You got two shade structures. What's the cost on those two shade structures? What's the size? Fritz, why don't you? Uh, you've got the accounting there. Tell them what, how many round and how many rectangular shades were in the current design, are in the current design, and what? Oh, no, I just missed two new ones there, Andy. There's a uh, rectangular sunshade over the concession. And there's yeah. one over the chemical room that were not in the current design, but in the alternate design. Right, they weren't there. But you, you'll notice that we also don't have uh, some uh, those removed from other places because the the net sum of the number of, of shade structures in the alternate design is is a few less than in the current. But Fritz can tell you how much a shade's worth.
Uh, how much does shade cost? Is that what, I'm sorry, I was trying to figure it up while you were talking. Yeah, yeah, how much those two, they look like they're the same size. Yeah, uh, roughly, they're about $5,500, $6,000 a piece. And that's not counting your installation costs and footings. Uh, that, that is, yes. Yeah. What size are those? What were you guys figuring? 10 by uh, 12, 12 by 20. I know at one point, Andy, you had mentioned that the, uh, the shade there on the uh, chemical room, filter room, you know, might be something that we could look at putting the footings in for and, and, and add a, or make it strong enough. We said it was strong enough that we could put the sunshade on there at a later date. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I had the, the structural engineer uh, design the thing and, and that's, that's where, what, yeah. where, where there's corbels in the, in the interior walls where it's strategically placed so that you could you can actually build a pavilion on top of that thing if you guys wanted to do that. Andy, uh, you know, you usually in your spec, shade spec say that those shades need to be uh, engineered so that that one, since it's on top of a roof, I am carrying an extra $1,500 for the, that design of that shade because it's on, it's not on soil, it's on a, on a concrete roof. Uh, Fritz, that would be, that will be done by Packard. That's his building. I'll tell him if we decide that we're going to put that shade structure up there, I'll tell him it's going up there and he'll, he'll have that in the design of the building. Okay. So okay. you, you won't need to carry that. Okay. Okay. What other questions do we have? <clears throat> I would, I would like to say that, um, we, that we don't give you any, any kind of final decisions right here at the table tonight. Maybe we have a chance, uh, to plug and play with these numbers, uh, as, as individual members of the committee. And then, um, Andy, maybe we can return something to you by maybe the middle of next week. Sure. Sure. If that works. And, you know, meanwhile, um, Again, I apologize for asking you to do more math, but maybe uh, that's what we're here for. So if, okay. if you've got some options that you we yeah. haven't presented to you, uh, we're more than happy to work on. We just like to see maybe some of those some of those bigger numbers that are on the on the worksheet maybe parsed apart a little bit so that we could uh, pick and choose portions. Like I, I personally am and would be, I would like to see us save what we could by bringing the you know the deck levels to to even and pulling things together, but go ahead and spend on the extra deck space. So anytime, any of those big, bigger numbers that could be parsed apart a little bit, maybe we could make some, uh, some line item decisions there. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. If we could get like a, the original design and then kind of what he had in the, or, the red there drawn up, maybe that would give us some options too on size. I, th I think, yeah, I think I get, I get what you guys are that area where that red is, you're, you're wanting something back there more than what we've come up with right here. And yeah. I'd like to see some space back there for folks. Yeah. No, I, 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 I get what you're saying. And I think maybe we can give them a, a third option of doing the, or a second option, I guess I should say, of doing all the changes we did to the deck, but adding that, even adding that, that half moon or however you want to say it back in there or half the half moon. What, what would you guys like to see the cost of the, uh, like the red spot and, and we could even do the, the, the whole, the whole thing as it was right there, if you'd like to. So yeah, is that, what are I, the, um, Corey, if I could just, you know, cause we're looking at a reduction in the concrete deck reduction in chain link fence, fill sunshades, uh, the fencing underneath the ladder, the decking underneath the ladder. Uh, there was a lot of different, Reduction in the uh, total length of ADA ramp. Uh, both it looks like for the ramp and the alternate, you it's uh, oh, I guess we have two ramps up there. Did we have two before? We did not. 
Yeah, there's, there's okay. in that one alternate, there's uh, 160 items that, that are be kind of in play right there. Uh, so, and they're all, some of them are interlocked, but some of them aren't, you know. I understand, I understand. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, we, we could we could discuss just doing a single a single ramp. I guess I would propose that ramp be over by the concessions, uh, but uh, in in just looking and looking at it, uh, it, it seemed to make sense the layout of that to have the two ramps, one on each end. But there certainly is some money to be saved with doing one, and you are being compliant as long as you have the one. A question I have: Do you guys like like um, is is bringing the two pools to the same level and, and coming down two feet instead of your current four feet? Does that make sense for you? It, it does to me. That's my vote. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, I think it makes sense. It makes sense to me as well. Mm -hmm. And then you know, in terms of what what how much deck we could add back uh, up there in the corner, uh, I don't know how you how you'd go about that but it, it, in my mind I want to think about that in terms of how many lounge chairs could, could fit in that space and if we could get to where uh, there's a, a opportunity to put you know two ro a row of lounge chairs too deep you know how many how many folks could oh, lay out there and catch some rays I don't know if it's possible to win team set up think, yeah that that's really where my mind goes in most of these scenarios is I know how many people gather around that pool yeah, during yeah. a swim meet and you need that kind of space for people. Mm -hmm. So. Makes sense I, to me. I just made that number up, Fritz. I don't know if you're looking at your screen or not. Huh? Adding part of the dining area on the east end of the activity. What I did was I claim I, I, I went ahead and exercised the revised deck and shape plan. Uh -huh. But adding yeah. part of the dining area back in, I put twenty five thousand out there. That would include a little more fence, deck, um, and a couple three umbrellas, maybe. I don't know if that's enough or not. Uh if you, is that the, the original circle? No, I was just doing part. Okay. Uh, I was doing the red area. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just guessing. Heck, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, instead of guessing, Andy, could he just break out the bigger pieces like Corey asked and we could just sure. take yeah, it sure. later? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, when I get it, guys. Uh, we should be able to eat, get it to you either tomorrow or, or even or Monday at the latest. Um, like uh, Andy can show me what he's thinking on what what you guys are talking about for the red area, and I can I can show you you know what the what the deck and the fence will cost and what each shade would cost things like things like that. So I think that's what you're asking me, right? Yeah, yeah I think that would give us some ideas where to head. Yep. Sure. And then, you know, then there's a lot of line items that we can pull over as add alternates um, yeah. right. and get to where we need to be pretty, pretty easily after that. Yeah. We, uh, you know, when we, when we do that, you're absolutely right. We can almost make almost anything an alternate. What we don't want to do is go too crazy and get a whole bunch of them because that'll get subcontractors and things. Uh, uh, they don't like it. It's just jumping out that way, <laughs> and prices start going up. So, you know, if when we go out with this thing, if we can, if we can keep our alternates under ten or so, and they can be anything, but you follow what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, it. it I, 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 I wouldn't I try to bid on a package that I didn't know for sure if I was going to get or not. Right. Right. You, you know how to how to do your margins like that, and then you just start jacking everything right up. Yeah, it get, the more complicated it gets, the more higher the price goes, and that's not what we're looking for, for sure. Right. That makes sense. But so are, are there? Yeah, that's I guess that's all I had. So so since we started, I added, and, and of course, uh, uh, 
Carruthers can fill in these blanks uh, over the course of the next couple of days and get it back to you, but I've added doing gable instead of hip on both ends. With uh, the dormer. With the dormer. With the dormer. Yes. With, with dormer on, on the front. What are you thinking about the back side? Just leave the, the eave where it is. I think so, because in my mind, I kind of went cheap there, and I thought we could always throw some kind of shade structure or something there if needed later. That's going to be cheaper than fixing a roof line. Uh, reduce scope of sound system. Mm -hmm. um, Just real quick, Andy, can I jump back on that? I'm confused. You were talking, Wendy, about it, and were you talking about the extending the roof down? to meet the win, men's and women's restroom exit? Is that what you were talking about, Andy? Uh, that's what I was asking about. I was calling that the That's what I thought the... you were asking. And when you said we could throw a shade structure over that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I want I... the cops to just leave in the gable as is and just doing the door without yeah. the extension over the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, th those exits, um, on a lot of bathhouses are left without a roof over them, you know, right. just, just the masonry walls out there. Um, that's not, a, I don't think that would be a, any, I don't think that would look bad to you. No, no, it just, uh, no, I just, I just looked at it as south facing and thought that might be an improvement, uh, just trying to give the building a, a new look to match the new pool. Right, right. So then we have, we've reduced the scope of the sound system, cut that uh, allowance in half. Then we'll look at, or, or whatever you guys, it sounds like Cherie may be able to pull on, uh, draw upon some uh, other projects and get a better feel for what that number could be. Yes. Uh, uh, we'll look at, at two areas uh, both east of the activity pool one will be exactly what's in the current design another will be something somewhat less than that and then we'll also look at just getting rid of probably the ramp on the far west northwest side of uh, the two foot retaining wall and just having the one ramp over in front of the uh, concessions area is there So yeah, and, and I haven't brought it up, but I know that I sent to you uh, elevations and, and, and planned you of what's in the, uh, does anybody need to see it or have you all, or you all have So you can see that, you, you can see there, one is quite a bit smaller. structure that that uh, they put this uh, Carruthers put this in Hennessy, Oklahoma. Uh, that's the smaller play structure. That's the alternate one that would uh, put $90,000 back into the budget. There's there's nothing chintzy about it. Now, keep in mind that this is a much smaller uh, zero depth uh, entry than what you have in your in, in, in your pool. So it may appear to be fairly small in scale compared to the size of your beach area. So what uh, I asked Fritz about just a couple hours ago is that's, I figured that would probably be the, the biggest drawback on this shade structure. I mean, that's not shade structure, a uh, play structure is that it would just be uh, very small in, in scale compared to the beach area. So I said, what if we met somewhere in the middle and we put in a small play structure, but we did something like a, and this is going old school, but something like a mushroom feature or something. You say, yeah, you could probably put in a mushroom feature for, I'll let you talk, Fritz. I, 
you're just throwing numbers on top of your head. So yeah, off the top of my head with with piping and and the structure or the mushroom and and Nick, uh, it would probably be about thirty thousand dollars. So that would add that would take away the ninety, but add thirty back in, and then you'd have a mushroom that was you know six feet in diameter and put off quite a bit of water. The one that's in the drawing right now we were just looking at when we were looking at the, the you know the current design and the and the alternate deck design I don't know. Okay, so next steps are uh, uh, Carruthers will uh, modify these line items, uh, the, the new line items. Uh, I'll send you this Excel spreadsheet. I, does everybody understand that you just you, you click them on, you click them off, and, and it automatically gives you a number down here. But anyway, whether you... Uh, whether you just print it off or what have you, you'll have the numbers here. And you can do your calculations however you like. Uh, is that where we want, we want to complete these numbers at the bottom of, I guess you guys aren't looking at, and I'm not sharing anymore, but I'm, I'm looking at this, this power, this, uh, this, my, this Excel spreadsheet that I had up earlier and you guys want us to fill in the numbers so you can play with it, right? I would appreciate the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Wendy okay. and Alan. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree. No, I think it will be easy to look at it that way. And uh, what we've... we've ...and then we can weight the... kind of weight them together to find out what the... Has the time to brainstorm. Is there anything? Is there any other line item you'd like to see here that, that isn't showing up? And I'm sharing this uh, spreadsheet again. Knock those off the list. Andy's asking us if there's anything else besides the stuff on the screen that we would like to see added to it. And I personally wouldn't know where to yeah, even I don't know begin to how to answer yeah. that question. So the, the good news is you guys have provided us a list that's got more options in it than we have to take. And I appreciate right. that. So those so, are a goal. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, we can sit here all day and pretend to know what, what we think would be best for you, but it's your guys' choice. So um, we, 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 tried to, we tried to come up with uh, as much as we could over over the 300,000 to get there. Yeah, yeah. So, no, that's so, awesome. So, so Fritz, it is fair for, 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 for Corey and them to say, hey, we don't know enough to know what else should be on this list. But having said here, through this conversation, do you did you hear anything uh, said that you think ought to be added to this list that we don't have shown right now? 
Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> You know, um, we, we've racked our brains quite a while on it. Uh, you know, there's always other options. You know, you could, you could put in one dive. Uh, um, so if, the, you know, if there's anything else you see, we can shore. list we've got here uh, seems to me we should be able to get this down to below our budget yeah well I am going to add this one thing uh A project that uh, fits your budget, then the better off everybody is. So we'll do our part, and my anticipation is is that if you guys can get us something on Wednesday. say this is where we are with a guaranteed maximum price now. You bet. You yeah. bet. Yeah. I see you guys Thursday. No, okay. Nice nice to meet you all. You as well. There in the back, yep. I don't remember everybody's name. I'm bad about that, but uh, we appreciate it. <laughs> There'll be other times, I'm sure. Okay. All right. And then you, you. You bet. Everybody have a great evening. Thank you, you too.